Here we go. Tell me your name, uh, your age if you are comfortable, where you live, and what is your art form? Uh, my name is Tamara Zibners, and I'm 40 years old. I live in Roswell, New Mexico, and I am a photographer that makes work that looks like paintings. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, the first question is, tell me a point of inspiration which has greatly influenced your work. It does not have to be in your art form. It can be anything. It can be a person, a book, a mm. piece of music, anything that has greatly influenced your creative life. Um, the first thing which I think I will share is my connection to my loved ones or longing for a connection to those loved ones somehow, some kind of need for others or different narratives about the people who already are a part of my life. Mm, interesting. Can you say a little bit more about that, how that is infused in your work? Um, I have made multiple I've, I've focused many, like one series about my grandmother and my ancestry. I've made a lot of drawings about my childhood, my relationships with my parents and siblings. And most recently I've been making a lot of work about being a mother. And in doing that, I'm thinking about my son, but also my mother and my you know, grandparents and those different lineages and how, I don't know, the, those threads of connection that seem um, very uh, important. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, thanks for that uh, uh, nuance, which was quite deep. Um, okay, so the second question is, when you're in the act of doing your art, and I understand that you're the way you work has, has multiple processes to it. But in general, when things are going very well and when you kind of lose yourself, right? You lose the, the um, analytical brain of going on and like the plates are spinning, right? Can you tell us what that feels like in the body center? Are you aware of something happening as you lose yourself in your, in your work? Um, yeah, actually, I would say it is a sense of joy. It's like an excitement when things are just kind of flowing and you know it's good. And in contrast, all the times that I'm in the studio clunking away, uh, in my time and it's not necessarily that good when it's all flowing it's like a rush I'd say yeah some maybe kind of pop music or some sort of feeling of like dancing but inside the, the tummy a little bit or mm -hmm. the, the heart center like a flutter of, of joy when things click yeah oh that's wonderful really beautifully put mm. And the third question is, your, you know, it, it, art is important, all art and creativity is important, but why do you particularly think that it is essential for the world? What does the world gain from people being artists of all disciplines, and particularly your art, perhaps, but in general, like, why do we need this? Um. I think that we are all, uh, I was just driving home from dropping my son off at school and I was just thinking about how the people in his school community are attached to God and how they need that as a like an existence. And I was just driving looking at how surreal it is that like that tree exists there and that car is driving down the street at that very moment and here I am and I'm not religious, but I believe in things and we're always trying to like interpret why the fuck we're here and what we're doing. And I think 
art provides an interpretation of what's happening around us. And I think we're all like trying to make sense of some greater purpose when there may be none, but in order to just like function and exist, people want to be making and doing things. And as a result, we love so much when other people do it so well. And then that provides inspiration and kind of a reason to exist. I really do think, like I was talking about my family, like, you know, finding a tribe of like-minded people, like, you know, is necessary. Like without a network, I don't think, um, I don't know, I don't think we would actually really survive as humans. So artists have created a network of people that love and appreciate color and line and, you know, form and music and words and all this kind of stuff because, uh, yeah, we, we do thrive on some kind of, I think, web of interconnectedness. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you. Tammy, thank you for sharing your creative imperative. Yeah. Thank you.